Hey guys, Chris here with Collier RV. I'm inside the new 2020 Sprinter 29DB bunkhouse. Come on in, let's check this thing out. Hey guys, so this is a new model from Keystone Sprinter. This is a 29DB, so it's just a big old bunkhouse. Um, a lot of cool features about this floor plan, but the thing I like, it's just very functional. Um, so up front you have the nice big true queen bed 60 by 80 but you get plenty of room on both sides of the bed the sprinter is a wide body product so it's a little bit wider than a normal trailer so it just gives you deeper cabinets gives you a little more room around the bed um, so you could if you're just using this as a couple you could certainly leave this open otherwise you have two sliding doors to close off and give some privacy in the bedroom all right so then you have this huge closet, so you could use this as a wardrobe, you could use it as a pantry, or you could divide it off and use it either way. Um, nice big facing dinette, and then if you take the back cushions off, you can actually just lift up so you'll have that same storage on each side. And that's nice, sometimes the drawer, the actual framework of the drawer subtracts from your storage, so this gives you the full length of the dinette. And if you'll notice in the slide box, you have lights um, and you have all your windows actually open. So you'll get good airflow through the trailer. Um, about a, just a little under a six foot tall slide out and it's a cable mechanism. This bed's a trifold, so I will do that as quick as I can. So you just pull out two legs, drop this down, and then you drop the back down and you can get an additional two people here if you need to. But you can tell, even with this out, plenty of room to get to the bathroom, get to the fridge, anywhere you're going. Um, and then the bunkhouse is just awesome. So you have a big bunk on top, um, double wide. It's a 300 pound rated uh, bunk. And then underneath you have this cool little room. So kids can hang out if they want. They could put a TV here. They could put a little gaming system, whatever they want to do. Um, Otherwise, when you make it into a bed, you just pull this cushion out and drop it all flat for a nice big bed. Then this is what it looks like as a bed. So you could get a couple kids down here if you need to. And then the nice thing about having this door back here, um, in transit, you could actually bring bikes or you could bring larger items. You have a nice spot to slide them in and store them. All right, so, so you get double entry here. You get a second door back into the bathroom. And if you enter through the bathroom um, with the slide in, you still have access to the fridge, the bathroom, full kitchen, bunk beds, and everything. Big wide shower, plenty of headroom. All right. All right, and then you have just the really nice entertainment center. You do have a sound bar as well, so that'll control um, interior speakers, exterior speakers, help enhance the volume of the TV. Here's your fridge. Um, so they've upgraded now to the new Furion oven. And then uh, L-shaped kitchen is nice. It gives you a lot of counter space. Still get a nice window to look out at your campsite. Have a spot for a trash can or a couple trash cans. And then the Sprinter does a great job of just having nice full extension usable drawers. All right, um, one more thing I wanna point out. So Sprinter would use a little remote. So if you turn this on, Put in your key, you can control your interior lights, your awning, your leveling jacks, and your slide room. All from, you can sit at your campsite and do this. So, nice and easy. And then you also have the ability to add Wi-Fi to this unit. So this is the Furion access system. So this is basically a dummy plate, but it's connected to your antenna if you took this off. So if you bought a router from Furion, you can plug that in, you could have Wi-Fi at your campsite. So very cool. Let's check out the outside. So up front you have just nice big pass-through storage. 
you do have electrical and cable out if you wanted to put a TV towards the front side of your campground. And if you can tell just the walls, the thickness, it's a two inch thick wall. So it's going to help, you know, in hot and cold climates, it's also going to reduce noise at the campground when you're inside the trailer. Um, you have the Solera adjustable pitch. So you can adjust that down for sunlight or for rainwater. All right. Then the nice big grab handle on the main door. Of course, I walked all the way out here and uh, forgot the, the key for this, but there is a TV behind here and a two burner cooktop and a little bit of extra counter space. And you do have water through your spray port if you need to use that while you're cooking outside. All right, other than that, uh, sprinters are all going to be 50 amp trailers, so they will be pre-wired for a second air conditioner if you ever felt you needed that. And then black tank flush will be standard, help clean out your black tank. All right, and then you will have electric jacks in the back and in the front, and again, those can be controlled either on a switch on the side of the trailer or from your handheld remote. All right, so water connections, and then you do have the ability to add a solar panel if you want to do that. Okay, and then you just have the awesome looking cap. You do have the LED lights on top, bigger propane tanks, both 30 pound, and then of course a power tongue jack standard. So thank you guys for watching. Again, this is a new model from Keystone Sprinter. It's a 2020 and it's a 29DB and it's for sale at Collier RV. So give us a look online, collierrv.com or give us a call. Thanks.